G'day guys and welcome to another Slicklaw 3D tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking about measurement in Blender. Now, for architectural projects, a lot of architects use programs such as um, ArchiCAD, AutoCAD, um, SketchUp and so on and so forth. And they say, like I had questions today from a person um, at my work, they were telling me, oh look, Programs like Blender, Blender sorry, just don't have the right function for measurement. So um, it's a lot harder to measure what an actual wall length is because everything's in Blender units. Um, hard to measure an area or uh, the angle of a corner and so on and so forth. And they, they base that on the, the excuse why they didn't use Blender. I thought to myself, well, that's quite a good point really if you're using architecture or you're doing architectural projects. You really want a program that does... Um, have proper measurements and so on and so forth because it's a very precise business. But I did find that Blender has some really good functionality for s such things and I'll show you them now. So if we open up Blender and click into our blank space, we'll press 7 to go in top view, X to delete the cube, I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh Plane. Radio. Now over here on my right, I'm going to tell Blender what type of unit I want for my measurements, so Imperial or Metric. So I'll go into the scene over here on our right and I'll enable metric. Now, I'll notice that if I press 5 on my numpad while in top view, it'll tell me that the under top also, it'll tell me what the size of the smallest blender unit visible is. So these sm tiny little cubes in here are 10 centimeters. If we zoom out one, the smallest cube we can see are these ones here and they're 1 meter. Keep zooming out. These large blender units here are 10 meters. So that's that handy little function. Now if we go into edit mode and we grab uh, an edge and say we extrude it on the x-axis and we press oh, we'll just extrude it, sorry we won't press anything press the extrude key and now we can just move it by freehand. We'll notice that down in the bottom left of our screen it'll tell us exactly how many meters we are moving it by. So at the moment we're moving it uh, 2.3 meters on the negative of the x-axis. So if I control Z, that's we've just got our plane again. Uh, another thing we really need in architecture is to be able to actually tell the length of a wall. So if we press N to open up our side panel, this is while in edit mode, and we go down to mesh display, and we enable down the numerics, edge length, edge angles, and face area. If, say for example, I grab an edge, and then I'll disable um, the 3D manipulator widget, It'll tell me how long it is, so I've got two meters there, it tells me that that edge is two meters in length. The same for these edges here, and if I press A to select all, it'll also tell me that the angles here on the left, uh, right, top left, top right, are 90 degrees, and the actual area of my plane is four meters in the center. Radio. Now, say for example we have... Um, the left wall of the house being 5.34 me metres and the bottom wall being 3.7 metres or something like that. If I delete all these vertices apart from one, so we've got one little vertice down the bottom, I can do this in a very quick, almost, it's a lot like ARCHICAD and those programs, I can tell it a precise measurement and it'll snap straight to that measurement. So first we have to tell Blender uh, to extrude the vertices, so we press E to extrude and then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it on what axis we're going to be going. So I want to go up, so I'll be using, I'll press E and then Y to go up on my Y axis. And then I'll say, for example, if I wanted 5.45 meters, I'll press 5.45 and I'll click Enter. Now if I press A and select the whole thing, it'll tell me here that that wall is 5.45 meters long. Now say, for example, I want the base of the, the base wall base length to be 3.78 meters. I'll just do the same thing. I'll press E, I'll press X, and then I'll go negative 3.78. Now, the reason I press negative 3.78 is because positive X goes to the right, negative X goes to the left, and I was going to the left. So now if I press A to select the whole thing, it'll tell me that the bottom wall is 3.78 meters in length, the walls on the right, uh, 5.4 meter, 5.45 meters in length. It'll tell me the area, and it'll tell me uh, the degrees for each corner. So if I grab and move, that'll also tell me that now that angle is not the same. 
So that's really handy and helpful. So when it comes to projects where we've got a reference image, say if we add a background image, a plan, something like this, and it's got all these lengths and it looks scary and you're like, oh, I'll have to open it up in ARCHICAD or something like that. Don't worry, you still can use your favorite 3D program. All you have to do is enable these functions over here and you'll be able to snap very easily to those lengths. So again, just adding a plane, I'll just do this quickly. Oops. I get my vertice. I stick it in the little bottom corner. Press extrude. Now this wall here is 3.420. So press E, Y, 3.420 meters. I press enter. Then if I want to go over here over this way, and that length is 5.5 meters, I'll just grab that hole. Sorry, <laughs> got rid of that. Again. Y, 3.420 meters. I'll just grab this whole edge, press E to extrude, X to define my axis, and because I'm going to the left, I press negative 5.50. And if we look at that by pressing A, our wall lengths are absolutely correct to perfect scale, and it'll also tell us the area and the angle. So guys, you don't have to be using ARCHICAD and other programs like that. Um, you can have all your awesome units um, your lengths, your angles, your area, and so on and so forth in Blender. So it's very precise. Instead of having to use those boring old programs, you can use one where you can really uh, tweak absolutely everything about your ar architectural visualization. So get out there to do some blending, and I hope this tutorial has been useful. Thank you very much.